Polish people are always complaining about their public transportation system. I think it's great, so for the next 48 hours, I'm going to be doing nothing but riding Polish public transportation to answer the question, does Polish transportation suck? These city bikes are probably my favorite option as an alternative to a car. You can get around Warsaw fast and without traffic. However, if you're not a cyclist, the metro is also a fantastic place to ride. So Poland has two short metro lines in its capital city, Warsaw. And although you can't go everywhere that you would want to go, it's very, very convenient, new, renovated, handicapped, accessible. And my favorite thing of all is that some of my friends are going here. Hey, <laughs> good morning. So if you want to meet Polish YouTube stars, come to the metro, apparently. I'm more accustomed to riding subway systems in cities like Chicago and New York and the first contrast I notice is that it's clean, it's safe, there's no graffiti, there are no creeps in here, just normal people commuting to and from work. Imagine that you're going somewhere and you need to use the restroom. Well guess what? Boom. It's waiting for you. I believe that all Warsaw Metro stops are equipped with clean, safe, guarded toilets. Um, so we're getting adult tickets. Two, you have to make sure that you get the correct kind of ticket because you wouldn't want to get fined. Then check that out. You just use the pay pass and your tickets come out. It's like magic. All right, well, you have to exercise the art of patience in the printing of the ticket. My first complaint about Polish transportation because we're in a hurry. Okay, we have two. You just pop it in. Boom, and you go. This also seems pretty energy efficient because the escalators are switching on and off depending on whether or not people are moving. No, I'm not one of those people who stands on their phone. That's not, that's not me. Look at this beast emerging from the tunnel in all of its glory. I was hoping to visit the other metro line, but considering our time restraints, I've got a desire to go to Krakow and the train leaves in just 20 minutes, so we have to be on our way now. <laughs> Damn logic, I'm sorry I rushed you so bad. Unusual situation, unexpected, but it turns out that our train is 30 minutes late. So earlier this morning I asked the question, does Polish transportation suck? Poles are often complaining about their transportation, but I think what they'd really have to complain about is the future if they don't start using the public transportation that is available. Not only will public transportation stop us from all dying of cancer or global warming, but it's going to help us move around in comfort, reduce traffic, more safe conditions. It's, I'm a little bit of a broken record here, but it really is a win-win. So when I heard of this uh, Energia Odnova project, I couldn't resist but to, to take part, just to reinstill the idea in my own mind that there are these great alternatives available and they should be used. The average urban driver admits approximately 153 grams of CO2 per passenger per mile. But if you take a diesel bus, only with 25% occupancy, you'd burn about 70 grams per passenger per mile. All right, so I want you to explain me one thing. Why on earth would anyone choose to drive five hours to Krakow when you can do it in just a little over two and a half hours in luxury, sitting here eating freshly cooked food and sipping on delicious tea? That, my friend, is a benefit of public transportation. Check it out, this door is basically right out of Star Wars. <laughs> oh, that is good. Got like laser lights in here. This is amazing. This is the best toilet I've ever seen in my life, really. So, yeah, so I just very discreetly uh, relieved myself and I'm gonna cross another Star Wars door, sit down and chill. The train adventure has been fun, but it's time to close my eyes. When I open them again, I will be in the beautiful city of Krakow. One of the 
things I love are these Krakow trams. They're fast, they're modern, they're comfortable. I really wish that we had these in the United States. So you see that clock tower? That's the first place I kissed my wife. that Market Square montage so much that now you're going to fly to Krakow and you want to find out how to get here, right? Let's go check out the airport train now. So you might wonder why I didn't take a plane anywhere in Poland. Every city has an airport and you can actually fly very cheap. Cheaper than the train that I took, in fact. I didn't consider it a realistic, healthy option or alternative to a private car on accord of the huge emissions that planes put out. Apparently, one transatlantic crossing consumes the same amount of fuel that an average driver would do in 50 years. Anya, cześć. Witam serdecznie. Bardzo mi miło. Dzisiaj jedziemy do lotnisko. Tak jest. Najszybciej jak możemy, czyli, e, czyli koleją. Przejazd nam zajmie 20 minut, więc e, jest to bardzo fajne usprawnienie dla turystów. Autobus miejski jedzie 40 minut, nasz pociąg jedzie 20. Pasażerowie bardzo sobie chwalą to połączenie, to jest najważniejsze. A czy ten pociąg jest czysty? To znaczy dobrze dla naszego środowiska. Jest to najbardziej ekologiczny pociąg, który może być. The f***ing thing just left. All right, we want to see some trains, so we're running. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, no. Oh, f***. <laughs> All right, I guess we're not going to Bielitska. All right, there's been another change in plan. We're going to Tarnów now. That's right, eh? Oh, probably a Christmas. Okay. Panowie to nagle wygrywają krótki film. O, generalnie kolejny. Potrzebujemy nagrać kilka ujęć pociągu. Nie będzie pani tak szokować. Biegaliśmy. Jest toaleta, jest wi-fi. No cóż jeszcze, no można byłoby jeszcze film puścić, nie? No ale to trzeba mieć też na to zgodę. So what about the trains? According to The Guardian, fully crowded trains are one of the most efficient long distance means of transportation. A train which has 100% occupancy emits less than 30 grams of CO2 per passenger per mile. That is a lot less than a car would burn. Thank you so much for the train through the cockpit. That was fantastic. Pani Aniu, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Another good alternative to owning your own car and traveling that way is ride sharing. There are several applications like Blah Blah Car. Dzień dobry panu. Krakowskie 7, tak? Ostatni weekend szedłem do Uber, które nie było moje. Tak? Jechałem pół godziny, zauważyłem, że to nie ten trasa. Tak, on mówi pan Robert i mówi nie, Ryan. Wtedy on też był trochę w szoku. Kraków nie jest fajnie miastem, bo ma fatalną, fatalne powietrze. Jak ktoś chce mieć zdrowe dziecko i jest dobrym rodzicem, tak. to musi wyjechać z Krakowa. Bo powietrze jest tak źle tutaj. To jest takie złe powietrze. So when I lived in Krakow, my apartment was uh, at the top of this building. You can see the windows are open all the way on the left there. In terms of pictures, it was just stunning. The problem was that throughout the winter, I felt sick. And I'm not sure of it, but if you look down from those windows, you'll observe nothing but chimneys. And in that time, people were burning coal. So basically, I was living up there and I was enjoying the views of Krakow, but I was being poisoned throughout the whole winter. And that's just unacceptable and disgusting. 
Now this seems to be a little bit more for tourists, but it's very cool all the same. Krakow has an array of water trams, as they call them, connections throughout the city. So there's a really, really cool option to travel by water inside of Krakow if you so desire. Actually, there aren't really any great beaches along the Visowa River, so these water boats provide a cool but kind of expensive attraction for tourists to use. All right, I'm gonna make a declaration. This is my official favorite form of transportation. A boat, water, Krakow, practicality. What else could you possibly want? Boats are certainly a less than optimal way to move things and people around. When it comes to shipping freight, boats would emit three times more pollution than rail. In terms of shipping people, transportation, a boat emits eight times more pollution than a train. I'm actually pretty comfortable and the scenery is nice, so if I don't fall asleep, I will see you in a few moments in Zakopane. It worked out to actually be okay. I had a lot of space, it was fast, it was efficient. Not my favorite form of transportation, but I'm happy to be in Zakopane because I'm getting a little bit tired. It's really late, I'm a little bit hungry. I make the best of things. All right, we made it to Zakopane and I've got my Osipic. It's not in the standard form, it's shredded, but it's gonna be good all the same. Well, my dear viewers, once again, I am up way too early, but that's okay because I'm headed back to Warsaw and I will complete this quest of discovering alternative forms of transportation. I'm sure you're curious whether or not I think Polish public transportation sucks. And quite frankly, I think that it's great and I wish we had the same back where I'm from in America. I think you've seen enough of my adventure, but before I go, I'd like to leave you with two final items. The first is a link in the description of this video to our partners WWF. They put together a documentary series called Pankrytyczny, which chronicles really interesting environmental issues and it's inspired me to make change in my own life, especially regarding forms of transportation. I hope you'll watch it, learn something, share it with a friend, and retain the concept of change in your life, even if it's a little bit. Change can go a long way when everyone does a little of it. And that's the last item, a quote from Robert Kennedy, who famously said, few will have the greatness to bend history itself, but each of us can work to change a small portion of events. And in the total of all those acts will be written the history of this generation. So if you don't believe that your small acts mean anything, think again. The acts of the generation will define whether or not change occurs. Aside from that, I hope that you'll subscribe to the Cult America channel and I will see you once again next week.